Good day everyone. Um, today we are going to talk about keypads um, and how to interface keypads. So um, we have different kind of keypads like this one now is 4x4. That is 4x4. What I mean by 4x4 means this if you check here 1, 2, 3. If you can see it 1, um, one 2, 3, 4. You see it 4 then the other 4. So that's why it's 4x4. So they have 3x3, they have 2x2. It depends on the one you want. But this one is 4x4. So now the main thing is how does this keypad work? When you when you click this button, how um how do you know how does your program find out that the pin that was um, clicked was pin 1 or pin 2 or pin 3? look at how let me just give you the basic principle of how this thing works. so now this is the internal diagram of a keypad if you look at it the same thing i showed you here that's what is here but this is the internal part so if you look at look at the connection of each each part of the key if you notice let's say for instance anytime you hear me say um zero volts what I mean, zero volt means minus and it is GND and I can still call it the same thing as one. You get me? I can call it the same thing as zero. I mean, not one. Why the five volt? I can call it as one. So anytime you hear me call one, I mean five volt is connected to that, that position. So let's say in a situation, I want to know if you look at the connection, look at it here is connected you know we have the these are the this is the um columns that is which is one two three four these are the columns why this is the rows which is one two three four these are the rows so what you are going to do is let's say for instance we connected one here let's say one which is the same thing as plus five volts and we want to know which pin is pressed if you notice when you connect to one here if you if you press this pin what will happen that one volt that five volt which is high vcc will flow in this direction you can see it will flow like this you can see five volts because you have already clicked this button that current will flow into this manner come down and this place becomes five volts so here will be five volts other should be zero 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 so now the same thing as but if you notice that same five volt is going to flow to this part but remember this part was not clicked the same thing with here but it was not clicked only here was clicked so the thing will go down the five volt will go down so you get five volt here so now in a situation whereby you want to um read okay let's say for instance we made here let's say we connected um high one let's say one let's say one zero 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 we connected here to gnd negative 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 then positive then now we are now reading this part to know what will come out if you notice if you click here if you once you press this number one here becomes one the same thing as if you press if you press this number two because this same connection is connected to here when you press it the same thing goes into this place here becomes one and remember you didn't press here again you didn't press here again you are not pressing the second one so here will go back to zero here will go back to zero and here will be one the same thing as if you should click this one now you have already left this one this one will go back to zero then this one would then be one because you clicked this the same thing too if you click this here will become one because you didn't click this again here will go back to zero the same thing happens if if you notice this place that are zero 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 if you click here if you click this one now here will become zero so if you notice the best way for you to know the pin that was scanned is by making everywhere one first you are going to make everywhere one then now what you are going to do is read the um the columns to see what happens first thing is let me say someone if someone should click button from here now you already know that in your program you should write it in a way that you'll be scanning this for 
four pins always when a button is pressed you should know the 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 column that it was pressed like if one button was pressed here it is this column you get me and now it is this column that was pressed what are we going to do now what we're going to do is that since this column was pressed okay let's say for instance we made everywhere one one okay we made it here one 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 and now let's say for instance i just our and my microcontroller was scanning these pins i connected it to let's say port b and i was scanning let's say port b.1 port b.2 port b.3 and port b.4 i'm scanning it to know the what is coming in if one has already come in the same thing as five volts so if i should click this button now my program should know that oh it's column one which is pin b dot one now immediately it notice that it's column one what do you do now since it's column one the next thing you do is you are going to make this place that was one before to be zero then when you make it zero then you will check if this place is still one if it's still one then know that it is not this pin that was pressed it may be any of this pin but if it is one then know that this is the pin that was that was pressed that is if you let me come again if you make you first make this place zero then leave others as one when you check this pin if year gives you zero it's not giving you that one before then know that this pin was the one being pressed but if it still gives you one then know that this is not the pin pressed what you are going to do is you are going to make here one back then go to the next one and make here zero then you still read this same pin is it zero if it is zero then it is this pin that was pressed but if it is not zero if it is one then it is not this pin it is one of these two so i'm going to give you an example now let's say for example um let's say for example i clicked let's say i clicked pin three let's say we made every one before and i clicked um pin three which is this pin i clicked it and now here becomes one you hear me here becomes one this place becomes one and others are still zero because it was not clicked now my program already know it is rule it is in this rule that i clicked it now next thing if you notice this is the place i clicked so my program is going to the next function it's going to do is going to make here zero when it makes here zero now you should know that if it should make here zero then the output here is supposed to be zero because this we are just clicked you get me but if it is not zero then this is not the pin you clicked it will be this one or this one or this one so you have to do it like that. that is the program is very fast enough that even as you as you just click the pin it's very it has a very high frequency running on it it runs on a very high frequency so immediately you are clicking it it already detects your hands and do all the calculation i just told you scanning and doing all this making here one zero 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 and just scanning in and it, it will get the exact pin that was pressed so immediately you get it. what you just have to do is display the pin on um, in an lcd or anywhere you want to display it so um i hope um what i explained i don't know i i hope you understand and um if you have any question in the comments below just type in your question and i'll get to you and um make sure you click on the subscribe button to see our next video on how to how to um, interface this keypad with a microcontroller like atmega 8 or any avr so thank you very much and um take a good day